Today we're learning how to crochet the grid stitch. To begin, I chained 18 foundation chains, but depending upon the size of your project, you can either add or take away sets of two foundation chains. So to begin row one, chain one. So one extra chain. Then crochet one single crochet in the second chain from your hook. So insert your hook into that second chain, yarn over, and pull back through that chain. You should now have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through both of those loops. Skip one chain, then crochet two single crochets into the next chain. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull back through that chain. You should now have two loops on your crochet hook. Yarn over and pull through both of those loops. Remember, we need to create one more single crochet. So insert your hook, yarn over, and pull back through that chain. You have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through both of those loops. Now, skip another chain, then crochet two single crochets in the next chain. Repeat this pattern all across until you reach the end of the row. Once you've reached the end of this row, you want to crochet one single crochet in the very last chain. So insert your hook, yarn over, and pull back through that chain. You should now have two loops. Yarn over and pull through both of those loops on your hook. There you go. Let's move on to row two now, shall we? So to begin, chain one. Now you want to turn your work, then crochet one single crochet into the same stitch as the chain one. So inserting your hook into that first stitch, you want to yarn over and pull back through that stitch. You should have two loops on your crochet hook. Yarn over and pull through both of those loops. Now skip the next stitch then crochet two single crochets into the following stitch. So inserting your hook, yarn over and pull back through that stitch. You should now have two loops on your crochet hook. Yarn over and pull through both of those loops. You have to create one more single crochet, so inserting your hook again, you want to yarn over and pull back through that stitch. You should have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through both of those loops. Now you want to skip another stitch, then crochet two single crochets into the next stitch, and keep repeating this pattern all across this row until you get to the very end. Once you've reached the end of this row, you want to crochet one single crochet into the very last stitch. So inserting your hook, You want to yarn over and pull back through that stitch. You should have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through both of those loops. There! So for row 3 and onwards, just repeat row 2. It's that simple and creates a really beautiful design. This is a great way to add some extra quirkiness to a standard single crochet project. It's a bit hard to see the texture only two rows in, so I've gone ahead and crocheted a few more rows and you can already see it coming together. If you'd like to try a pattern featuring the grid stitch, you can find the link in the description. Be sure to check out my blog hopefulhoney.com for lots of free crochet patterns. Please subscribe!